Hello and uh, welcome to our uni podcast. We've come up with a location and we've put a sofa on a beach. So I'm joined with Max, Jack and Dimo. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about... Should we start off how the hell we got a sofa to the beach? Yeah. So it started yesterday. Uh, we came across this lovely rainbow sofa. Uh, we asked a very kind man if we could borrow it. He said yes. Uh, we managed to drag it the whole way down here. Uh, looking like security guards. Uh, insert that clip now. Yeah, high visas, yeah. And now we're here. It's taken about an hour. Camera's set up and we're ready to go. We're also planning on going to multiple different locations and taking photos with the sofa. <laughs> so the famous river jumping video, which we'll put up, up somewhere here, we're going to put the sofa in the river. Um, we're going to have an outside cameo. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to get... Yeah, we've got about 20 people watching us as we speak. If you want the, uh, <laughs> if you want the sofa to be put anywhere... Just like DM Ethan or something, give us a location. And uh, so if, um, if you have any questions uh, for the next episodes, shit you want us to discuss, you know, things you want to hear, let us know. From a first year perspective, yeah. um, which is quite interesting, bearing in mind none of us know what the fuck we're doing, really. We just do stuff like this. It's yeah, great. We're, we're trying to relate this as much to uni and uni life as possible. So, like Demo said, share your ideas. Um, don't feel like scared to comment. Um, like we've got a sofa on the beach we will literally talk about anything <laughs> so that's what this is about yeah, yeah. We're, we're also thinking of getting surprise guests at some point so yes. don't know if you guys know but Alex the Lion is quite a big influencer in Bournemouth uh, we're going to get him involved we're also trying to get some of the TikTok guys potentially involved make the episodes more uh, interesting throughout yes. the series we do so I think the first thing I think we should discuss is sort of beginning of uni. You know, a lot of people will be starting uni in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are scared. A lot of people are not really confident going into it. So I feel like we should discuss what the first couple of weeks of uni are like. I feel like that's like a big thing of first year. I feel like all of our first year experiences are different, but mainly you, you'll go out with your flat and get to know them the first sort of couple of weeks. It can be quite daunting and uh, difficult especially cooking by yourself as Ethan knows he doesn't he doesn't really cook anything no, no, um, can't it's, it's a different experience but like as the months or weeks go by you will like uh, get used to it and you'll start to adjust to the uni lifestyle I feel like at the start everyone's uh, nervous but once you start talking to people like the first couple of conversations everything's sorted because everyone's in the same position you never get that sort of feeling because I feel like have you ever joined a school yeah. where, like, like, later than everyone else? Has that ever happened to you? Yes. That's what I imagined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <go ahead. laughs> That's what I sort of imagined uni might be like, but then you sort of realise that everyone's starting at the same time. Everyone, this is a new experience for literally everyone. Mm -hmm. And at no point is anyone... I feel like everyone's just as nervous, nervous as everyone else. Like, it's not... Yeah, yeah. So it's like, as soon as you get over that, you will, you will enjoy it a lot. And especially if you're, like, an independent person. Also, on, like, nights out... It's ten times easier to make friends as well. And pre's, pre's and, and afters is a great place to make mates. Yeah, me and Jack did a DJ set at a pre. That was like the first two weeks. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it was mental. Uh, none of us, well, Jack was, you know, quite, you kind of knew what you're doing. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I, I turned the music off loads of times. Everyone was just, there, everyone just enjoying themselves. And yeah, you just get chatting to everyone and then they're like, oh, so you DJ? And I'm like, yeah, what course you studying? There's like a series of like four or five yeah, questions is, yeah. that everyone goes through. Like, where are you from? What are you studying? How old are you maybe? Uh, where are you staying? <laughs> yeah, where are you staying? Yeah. Also, Freshers Flu, can we discuss that? It's right, so. Bad. Here's the thing. I think Freshers is genuinely incredible i feel like it's one yeah, of the best yeah. two weeks you ever have except the fucking freshers food yeah. that is uh, just the a, worst thing it's you've got to go through it it's worse than covid yeah. no it's like yeah, it's it covid is. and there's it that it's, it's a new level it's a new sort of thing like i've never i think that might be the worst i've ever felt like not to scare you lot because there's a there is a chance that you might just not get it you're like a, you're people. a lucky bastard if you don't get whereas it whereas i got it for like three months I <laughs> three months <laughs> i've i've still got it i'm yeah, still coughing I remember dying on the sofa on my bed mm -hmm. every and day. And it happens again when it's like a break, when it's like a big break. Go back to the making friends point. Um, obviously, not everybody drinks. So I think it definitely does help drinking yeah. and stuff at uni. Uh, but we've got friends 
ourselves yeah. that don't drink. They bring Coca Cola up to it's the nothing freeze wrong with it. on a nice house. They still have a good time. They still you can easily make conversation with them. Like it's absolutely a preference. There's like mutual respect for everyone as well and everyone's choices. There's no peer pressure. No one really cares. If you don't do drugs, don't do drugs. Don't want to do alcohol. Don't touch it. Like we all met sober, pretty much. Yeah. Because yeah. we're all in the same course. Yeah. Um, it's doable either way. And there's loads of people with the same interests. Most people at uni are interested in going out, clubbing. If you're not interested in that, you can still find people. There's yeah. still, there's societies. Yeah. So, perfect example of that is Alex the Lion. Yeah. He, he's a FIFA head. We'll get him on, we'll get him right on Right now, time. he's playing FIFA in his room and slamming his desk and screaming <laughs> at the top of his lungs. And as, as we're just at the beach. Do so you have different priorities? Right, he's, like, he's, like, changed a lot, I think. He has. He used to be, like, same as anyone, really, who's, like, quiet and joined, uh, joined uni, I feel like. Talking to people is the best way to get out of your comfort zone. If you're not used to like hanging around with loads of people, uni's definitely a way to like help you with that, help you with social uh, social situations. Yeah. What has been your craziest night out story to date? Ours is always, I mean, we've had a couple recent ones. It's always last minute plans. It's yeah. like, do you want to come out? Do you want to come out? Uh, I've got an essay due tomorrow and then you end up coming out. <laughs> it's normally how it goes. It'll be last minute. Uh, we've done quite a few like boys nights out uh, yeah. they always end out the worst because <laughs> yes. everyone's egging everyone on yeah you'll be drunk in under like half an hour <laughs> there's no peer pressure i promise <laughs> oh yeah, yeah sorry, maybe a little bit <laughs> you see a lot of weird things on a night out yeah you come across a lot of random uh, but then again i feel things. like i feel like we we are in like a really safe sort of city i feel like if you go if you go to university in like a big city, in like London or something, your experience might be a little bit different. Yeah, true. But so then, that's, yeah. I feel like that might be a big thing. That's a good thing. About it is quite a community. Yeah, everyone yeah. knows everyone. Knows everyone so but no, I think good. the craziest night out, I agree, is when it's you don't expect it at all. Yeah. My personally, my best night out with people I know really well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you just you just randomly go, okay, do you want to go out? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. The right. unplanned one. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I feel like that's that's when that's because you don't. When you plan it, it like sometimes doesn't live up to the expectations. Whereas yeah. if you don't plan it, there's no, ex- you don't expect anything. So it's it's like this really, this sofa thing. I'm yeah, we mentioned it one one day, picked up a sofa the next day, and <laughs> here we are on the beach. Yeah. I feel like uni's like that. It's very spontaneous. Everyone's always yeah. up for doing everything. This Everyone's brilliant. always down. There'll always be someone up for something. <laughs> We were up for putting a sofa on the beach, so I think as an example. me and Ethan about the crazy night out. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me definitely. and Ethan have like the funniest and like most out of this world experiences you lot are the uni stereotype <laughs> yeah for, like people we've that done, go we've done first e- year properly Ethan and i are known to overdo it sometimes um, <laughs> all the time <laughs> <laughs> i've i've ended up having hurt my shoulder but there's very few people who are as stupid as me <laughs> but i've got to have surgery oh, on tell them the so. story about your yeah your shoulder there's only so much i can tell you because i can't remember a lot but i got <laughs> lost on the walk back Ethan calls me Captain Sense of Direction because I never have any idea where I'm going. But I think I fell over, hurt my shoulder. I walked to another town after a night out. My friend was trying to call me an Uber, but I just walked straight past it. And yeah, I slept in a random apartment outside their door, (laughs) threw up, lost my phone. Talking about the whole community thing, (laughs) we went back the following day. I found my phone, cleared up my sick, and it was happy days (laughs) after that. Definitely going somewhere by the sea. We found is uh, yeah, it's really good for your mental health as well. If you're like like I don't uh, personally just hey. travel too much about the whole mental health thing. Uh, but little uh, <laughs> 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 feature. Uh, yeah, just getting outside and being by the beach, being by the sea and the sun, it does really help. So uh, another big thing people think about uh, to do with uni is your spendings. Now I think when you start uni, you're thinking like, yep. I'm going to set myself a amount each week, each month. Yeah, that does not work. That goes out the window within, <laughs> like, after freshers. <laughs> like, you're spending uh, seven pound on drinks. You're spending money on McDonald's. If you can't cook. Yeah, if you can't cook. Right, I personally <laughs> yeah. cannot. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm proud <laughs> so that right. I can't cook. Yeah. I average about 10 meal deals a, day, a week, I think. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> So um, that's thirty pounds just quid. on fucking middle. And then also nights out and bottle of vodka. Fuck me. No food. No up. food. Once you start living by yourself, you realise how incredibly expensive. Higher it is. quantities of vodka in the water. No, yeah. I don't. I don't think I spend that much on alcohol. Oh, I think God. I think food. Nah, I think I, food's the one. Really? I, I both me and Max. I feel like we both go through about five, six litres of vodka a week. <laughs> and we are, no and it doesn't even. That's just a it affects us like a tiny bit, but. 
Now it's just gotten to a point where I'm really scared. No, me and Jack, I don't think me and Jack drink like at all. Not as bad anymore. as we do. Like we've, we basically, we only drink like beer now. The main spendings are alcohol, going out. I think Eating food. Out. The odd, yeah. the think, odd like restaurant trip as well. Yeah. I've got an alternate opinion to the whole spending thing. We're young, these are the years that you can't really yeah, live. True. I think yeah. as much money as it seems, like we're probably going to come out of pretty good jobs. Like, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> touch sofa. I feel like a big thing about uni is that people think that, you know, the course might be useless and that sort of thing. But you don't realise the amount of people you meet and the amount yeah. of the way that can... Create opportunities. Yeah, that, that can literally change your life. The, the people you meet at uni can absolutely change your life. I, I think people are worried that uni, they'll come out, have uh, no idea what to do. And I feel like... You need talking to people and meeting people is a great way to create opportunities for yourself. You're not here just for the degree. Yeah, and if you are, yeah, you're, doing, you're it not doing it right. It's all about experience. Yeah. Making um, memories. Making memories. We're only 19, 18 once. All right, so the next big thing is uh, not necessarily the people you're living with, but like your house or your flat. I felt like at the start, you can keep it clean. Everyone's like, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll clean Daily, get, weekly, get however a road you do to it. go in. Um, after that goes like, out the yeah, it does. again, yeah. like the money thing, that goes out the window <laughs> after like a month. There's crap everywhere, <laughs> plates, road signs. We had a trolley. Everybody's moment, yeah. everybody's different though. I mean, like, I didn't really get on my flat, so I'm not going to mention names and shame them as much as I want to. Yeah, my flatmates are different. Everything had to be immaculate. Obviously, some people like really tidy, and that's just the way they are, which is fine. Halls is a place of having fun, not really caring a huge amount um, where you're living or your living conditions. I also like, feel like people make... It's only one year. People make the decision of, like, first-year accommodation on, like, how nice it is. I feel like the nicer accommodation, the less active it is. The less parties there are, the less yeah. people are Wait, likely, I to, to, talk, about this. likely I to, to talk to you. The way yeah, I chose right. my accommodation, I, I genuinely just looked at the reviews and I saw that all the reviews were positive and all the negative ones were just saying how loud it was. It was overly, like, overly active. Yeah. So I just thought that's... That's perfect. That's uh, it's good want. for some people, but then for some people, if you're introverted and you want to yeah. stay and study, what? Uh, I didn't uh, look at any reviews or anything for my accommodation. My accommodation hasn't been the greatest. I said I still had a reasonable time in it, but definitely like get on the accommodation route quickly because like these better places will sell out faster. They do yeah. very quickly. Yeah. I think um, if you're more of a study quiet, don't like going out, go for the higher accommodations if you're more of a party going out go mid to the range, lower mid, mid range, range yeah. uh, accommodations because uh, that's probably the right way to go so at the moment we're in uh, first year we're near our end uh, us three uh, excluding jack all in the house together um so there's going to be loads more i am on only the same i am only road. across the road he is yeah we're on the same road um it's going to be very active we had to oh. um pick a house within what like a month yeah. Yeah. No. See, yeah. That was, we took our time. See what yeah. happened is, so Jack sorted out his house really quickly with his lot. We, on the other hand, were too lazy we to get it done. But but then again, you shouldn't. After a month, how the hell do you know if they're yeah. good enough yeah, to live yeah. with? So we weren't. You, that's that's one thing I've absolutely hated about uni. It's that sort of thing where you're forced into looking into a house a month yeah. into going to it. It's that's very stressful. That's very been rushed. Stressful one thing, yeah. One thing about uni, it goes bloody quickly. Like we are pretty much finished. Yeah. It doesn't feel like we've been. We we've finished, finished in like week. two. Yeah, two weeks, one week. Yeah. Yeah, I can only what imagine the what the lot that like had COVID. I'm sure. Oh, like, that would have been. That must I feel horrible. very bad for. Them, yeah, um, a waste of money. But yeah, no, we took our time with our, with our accommodation. We really took our time, and we still found a great house. Yeah, we're happy with. So that's quite stressful. I feel like that's something you should definitely sort of hop on straight away. Yeah, you mm. should think about it. But one, you know, we managed to do it what five months after. Yeah, we did it in March, didn't we? I think it's yeah, about March. like getting the right balance of um, meeting people, getting yourself out there, and then choosing who you live with because. You, you want, from my experience, you want to be living with the right sort of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's really important. Uh, we've been talking for 20 minutes. This is our first podcast on what uni life is like. We've covered a bit about nightlife and all this stuff. We don't want it to be formal. Fuck the formal stuff. But if you guys have any comments or you want anything to chat about, I reckon we'll do like an Instagram thing um, yeah, where you can pop up. We'll all do it. Um, we'll get all of our Instagrams involved. And on TikTok as well. That we'll post all the highlights and stuff on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, next location, we're going to keep the sofa. We don't know where we're going. I'm not sure where next. Um, it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. It'll yeah. be a surprise. Put, put, put like 
we all said earlier, all your ideas in the comments section because we yep. want to hear what you and have to say about your uni experiences and what you want us to do. If you think this podcast is shit, tell us and we'll see if we can work on it. But if you think it's good, do let us know as well because it also helps out. <laughs> right, right. Thanks so We've much. got Thanks to uh, get rid of this sofa now. <laughs> see you lot in a bit. <laughs>